Imagine this, a lone fighter jet from the 1970s designed for Cold War skirmishes suddenly downs a swarm of cutting-edge drones over the Red Sea in 2024, France's first aerial kills since World War II. Shocking, right? But how did the Dassault Mirage 2000, a Delta Wing underdog, evolve from a budget replacement to a global battle legend that's still outmaneuvering modern threats? Stick around. In this episode, we'll unravel its jaw-dropping history, the wars it dominated, its unbeatable strengths, hidden weaknesses, and why it's flying stronger than ever today. You'll walk away knowing exactly why no enemy wants to tangle with it. If that got your pulse racing, smash that subscribe button right now for more epic aviation stories. And let's launch into the Mirage 2000. Our story blasts off in the turbulent 1960s. France, fresh from the Mirage III's success in the Six-Day War, needed a next-gen fighter to counter Soviet MiGs and replace aging fleets. The Armée de l'Air craved something agile, affordable, and multi-role. Not a bloated bomber like the scrapped Mirage G-8A project which ballooned in costs. Enter Dassault Aviation's brainchild, the Mirage 2000, born from the ashes of failed international collaborations like the Anglo-French variable geometry jet. In 1972, under the code Delta 1000, design kicked off. The goal? A single-engine interceptor with ground attack chops, fixing the Mirage 3's low-speed handling woes while keeping that iconic Delta Wing for supersonic prowess. By December 1975, France greenlit three prototypes. Just 27 months later, on March 10, 1978, prototype number. Zero One roared into the skies over Easter France. Pilot Jean Corot hit Mach 1.3 on its maiden flight, climbing to 12,000 meters without breaking a sweat. Prototypes number 02 and 03 followed in 1978 to 1979, testing avionics, radar, and weapons. The dual seat 2000B debuted in 1980. Production ramped up. The first Mirage 2000C rolled out in 1982, entering service in 1984 with the SNEC. MAM-53-5 engine and Thompson CSF RDM radar. Upgrades came fast. The M-53P-2 engine in 1987 boosted thrust to 95 kilo newtons, while the Thales RDI radar added look-down shoot-down for Matra Super 530D missiles. By the late 1980s, the 2005 variant emerged to rival the F-16 with RDY radar tracking 24 targets. Nuclear-capable 2000N flew in 1983 for ASMP missiles, and the Strike Focus 2000D hit service in 1995. Over 601 units built by 2007 exported to nine nations, all because France wanted independence from U.S. tech and a fighter that punched above its weight in a post-Vietnam world. The Mirage 2000 didn't just train, 
it fought. Its combat debut, the 1991 Gulf War, where French pilots flew high-altitude escorts for US U-2 spy planes and bombed Iraqi targets. No losses, pure precision. In 1995's Bosnian War, during Operation Deliberate Force, a 2000D was downed by a Serbian man pads, crew captured but released, a rare setback in NATO ops. Kosovo followed in 1999 with air superiority missions. India's fleet stole the show in the 1999 Kargil War, 514 sorties over Himalayan peaks, dropping 55,000 kilograms of bombs on Pakistani positions, zero combat losses, turning the tide. In 2019's Balakot airstrike, 12 mirages crossed into Pakistan, hammering terrorist camps with Spice 2000 bombs. The next day's dogfight saw them tangle with F-16 and JF-17. Claims flew both ways, but India stood firm. Peru used them in 1995's Sinepa War for patrols against Ecuador. UAE mirages struck in 2011, Libya, enforcing no-fly zones, and Yemen's 2015 civil war, one lost to a missile in 2016. France returned to Afghanistan in 2001 to 2002 and 2007 for laser-guided strikes, then Libya in 2011 and Syria in 2018 against chemical sites. In 2024, French 2005 Fs scored those historic drone kills over the Red Sea. And now, Ukraine's getting upgraded French mirages intercepting Russian K-101 missiles since March 2025. One crashed in July, but they're already racking up wins in Europe's hottest conflict. Why does the Mirage 2000 endure? Strengths abound. That 41 square meters delta wing delivers insane maneuverability. Low wing loading, 337 kilograms per square meter, lets it outturn F-15 and F-16, hitting 30 degree angles of attack. Fly-by-wire controls make it forgiving, while Mach 2.2 speed 2,336 kilometers per hour and 17,060 meters ceiling keep it lethal. Armament, twin 30 millimeter DFA cannons, up to six MICA missiles, Exocet anti-ship and nuclear options on some variants. RDY radar tracks multiple targets. It's multi-role magic. Air-to-air -air strikes recon. Affordable too with over 3,335 kilometers ferry range on tanks. Weaknesses? Single engine means less redundancy. Crashes from failures like Taiwan's engine cracks or India's spare shortages in the 1990s. Limited combat radius 1,550 kilometers without tanks and early models lagged in multi-target engagement until upgrades. Delta wings struggle under heavy loads, and it's vulnerable to advanced SAMS, 
as seen in Bosnia and Yemen. Still, upgrades like 2005 MK2 keep it competitive. Today, around 300 Mirages fly worldwide. France's 97 include upgraded 2000Ds for strikes, adding GBU-48 bombs, and 2005Fs for air defense, six pledged to Ukraine in 2024 for scalp EG missiles. India's 55 handle border patrols, Greece's 29 intercept Turkish jets, UAE's 67 strike in Yemen, Egypt's 20 train fighters, Taiwan's 53 Dieter China, Peru's 12 patrol borders. Even private firms use ex-Brazilian ones for aggressor training. Retirements loom. France phases out by 2030 for Rafales, but upgrades ensure relevance in drone-heavy wars. From Cold War prototype to 2025 drone slayer, the Mirage. 2000 proves timeless engineering wins battles. What fighter should we cover next? Drop in the comments. If you loved this deep dive, like, share, and subscribe to Sky Pulse Aviation. Turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching. Blue skies ahead.